Hi everyone, I am here today with a book review for you and today I am reviewing School for Psychics by Casey Archer and I received this book from the publisher via NetGalley. This is a, well, we'll get back to this subject later but in theory this is an adult fantasy novel, it's probably the best way of describing it and the best way I could describe it is think of Harry Potter but with early 20 year olds and psychics, that's probably the best way of putting it. The novel follows a 24 year old named Teddy and she at the beginning of the novel is banned from every casino in Las Vegas. They think that she cheats somehow, she doesn't cheat although she can't really prove a way that she doesn't cheat and meanwhile they can't prove that she does cheat and so they've just banned her. She basically, when playing poker, which she's now doing at the beginning of the novel in a disguise so she can still get in there, she basically can tell whether she needs to fold or whether to sort of go all in. She can read what players have got, like how they're gonna, like how good their hand is, whether they are bluffing or not. And she doesn't really sort of question that she can do this much. It's just a little bit here, a little bit there. She's like, oh, I, I get that this isn't normal, but you know, it earns me money and she has run into problems in the past and has debt issues and there's some family issues going on and she's quite a sort of lonely person and she's in the casino one night and something strange happens and all of a sudden she can't read what someone wants to do and it really throws her and she ends up losing all her money. Next thing, you know, a guy that is interested in chasing her down for money actually spots her and starts kind of trying to get hold of her but just at the last minute someone comes to her rescue and this guy says that he can stop this guy from getting hold of her, he can pay off all her debts, she just needs to attend this psychic school and it all seems a bit too much to be true for Teddy and she sort of wonders whether she should do it. In the end of course she does as it's called School for Psychics and everything sort of builds up from there. So the school setting is really, really interesting. I mean, you get a lot of the lessons. So again, think Harry Potter, as I said. So as I said, you get all the different lessons and teachers and there's sort of a bad teacher, like a female one that kind of, it's like a female Snape really. And it's really quite enjoyable. I really got into all the sort of learning about the lessons and learning about what's happening and like, what their homework might be and how they need to sort of improve upon this and that to be able to use their powers in a good way and to make a difference in the world. But this is where I also start running into some issues. Now, as I said, it has got quite a Harry Potter feel to it. I'm okay with that. I enjoy a different way of looking at a Harry Potter kind of story. And early 20 year olds in a school environment works for me, that's absolutely fine. What didn't work for me was that the characters felt younger than they were. So as I said, Teddy is 24. It is assumed that all the other characters at school with her are of similar age. And you've got one guy that was like an ex-policeman and they all just don't act this age at all. They all feel at best 18, probably more like maybe even 15, the maturity levels just don't match up. It just really doesn't work for me. Now, I don't have a problem with YA. If you watch my channel regularly, you will know that I regularly watch, I regularly read YA. My biggest problem here is that that's not how this book is marketed. I can't tell whether this book was originally intended to be about teenagers. They're like, no, YA market saturated, let's go adult. Or whether, it was all just a really bad idea in terms of the writing quality versus the characters. I don't know, it just, it doesn't add up right. It's not just me that feels this way after reading it. I read through some reviews on good reason. Like every review mentions it and when every review feels that way, you've got to wonder, did, did they make a mistake here with that? That said, it only deterred from my enjoyment slightly. I just tried to make my head forget that they were meant to be like 24 and just let my head just go with it. And I was like, yeah, these teenagers are like having a great time going to psychic school. That's just how I got through it in the end because it did bother me, but 
I enjoyed the book too much to let it bother me as much as it could have done. And meanwhile, this just feels like a really big shame because it's not something that was needed to be an issue. They could have, it could have been fixed so easily, either with the writing or the editing stage, like, or even just the marketing stage. Go, no, this doesn't work. Let's change it a little bit. Like, why, why did they let this happen? I find it very strange. To quickly go on off on a complete tangent, Casey Archer is a pen name. And we don't know who this author is at all. I don't know whether it's like perhaps some big author that is trying to go in a different genre or a different sort of age group. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see whether this comes out at any point, who this actually is and if it's like an already famous author just trying something a bit different. And if it is, I feel like, again, this is such a strange mistake for a bigger author to make to not have the age matching the actions. So on to other things, I don't want to keep waffling about age. So Teddy herself is quite an interesting character. She's a bit annoying at times, but that makes her feel just more real. Her decisions, while they are a bit strange at times and I wouldn't necessarily go with them, you know, they make sense. You could understand why she does what she does. She's also in some ways quite relatable. You understand that she isn't perfect. You understand that, well, at the school they've got all these rules. So like, you shouldn't have caffeine, you shouldn't have this, you shouldn't have that. You can understand why things like alcohol, which is again, not allowed, is something that a 24 year old, this is one of the occasions where it does, oh my God, as if I'm going into age again, this is one of the occasions where it does make slight sense. So you can understand why a 24 year old in a stressful learning new environment with so many other things going on and trying to learn to control her powers. You can understand why she might want an alcoholic drink and why she might go out and get one in a kind of setting where she shouldn't be having one. And then there's romance and desires. Again, that makes sense and you can sort of find yourself associating and understanding her movements. So she feels quite a real and fleshed out character. Some of the other secondary characters, however, some feel more real than others. Again, it's a little bit iffy. I mean, I'm gonna go talk about individual characters because I feel like that would start going into spoilers if I'm not careful, so I'm not gonna do that, but a lot of them are, are relatively fleshed out. I mean, this is the first book in a, a trilogy, I think it's gonna be, so hopefully we'll get more fleshing out in the future novels, but overall, it's not something that I found as a negative thing, and I quite enjoyed most of the characters and getting to know them for the most part. Twists are often present in this book and as you may know I love a good twist and with this one it was it, the twists were okay. It sends you and Teddy of course on a really twisty road and you get to the point where you don't know who to trust, you don't know who's maybe like potentially dangerous to be hanging around with, you don't know whether people that you thought were of as authority figures are good people and the one thing I would say with that is I predicted who to avoid, who the bad people were so to speak in this book quite early on actually but I didn't know for sure and I had to go through several different guesses as I often do before then finding out that my first sort of initial thought was actually the correct one. So that said, I mean, it is a little bit predictable if you read a lot of kind of twisty books, but all the same, it didn't actually deter from my enjoyment. I overall enjoyed the twists. So other than being very, and I mean very disappointed in the age issues. I enjoyed this book a lot. It's got some very Marmite feels on Goodreads. It's got everything from five stars to one star. Not everyone could finish it. I don't feel like I had too many problems with this book overall. And I thought it was a really exciting introduction to a potentially really good new series. I would definitely be keeping my eyes open for the second book in the series and as I said, it's just very Marmite. You're probably not going to know whether you like this or not till you give it a go for yourself. So yeah, I highly recommend giving it a try. I enjoyed it. It was a fast paced, quick and easy read to get through. I flew through it. And as I said, it reads very YA. So if you're into YA and 
you, you're a bit iffy about trying adult fiction, this might actually be one to go for. So thank you so much for watching this review. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking the image of me just there if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.